Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you another interesting attacking game played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. Tal's opponent is Czech grandmaster Eduard Meduna and this game is from 1989-90 Bundesliga. Tal is on the white side and he opened up with e4. By the way, let me tell you that smoking was forbidden in the tournament hall, so Tal had to hurry out into the vestibule between moves so as to remain faithful to his addiction. During the game Tal smoked 20 cigarettes. Then the game was over. Uh, Meduna's answer was c6, black goes for Karokan defense. Knight d2, d takes e4, knight takes e4, knight d7, carpo variation, knight g5, knight f6. Bishop d3. Here black played c5. If you remember a couple of days ago I shared with you Tal's game against Lambit all where the latter played h6 and stepped into this knight e6 move. In case you missed it the link I will pin in the comment section but in our game we have c5. Although according to Stockfish playing e6 bishop d6 is better preparing castling kingside. Earlier, when having black pieces, Tal had tested queen c7 continuation, but in this game we have c5 by Meduna. Knight 1 goes to f3, c takes d4. Tal writes that Meduna spent a lot of time on this move, which means that it gave him a lucky chance of smoking several cigarettes, right? Here the magician castled kingside, queen b6. Believe it or not, but this is already losing, you know. With his 8th move, Black is making a losing move and you can see the computer evaluation. The computer says that after queen b6, Black's position is completely hopeless. It was not too late to play e6 and try to complete the development. Let's see what's the problem with queen b6. There comes bishop c4 hitting on f7, e6 rook e1 and yeah. This black king stuck in the center of the board is defenseless. Bishop e7. At least it was better to play knight e5. Uh, knight c5, sorry, but after knight e5, again, black is suffering heavy losses. In our game, we have bishop e7, and the move which just asks itself to be played is. Yes, you're right, knight takes f7. Black didn't dare to accept the sacrifice, played queen c7, attacked white bishop. But let's take a look, what if king takes f7? Then rook takes e6 is coming. And now if you move away your queen, for example queen d8, then just rook takes f6. And yeah, this is a destruction. This black king, this exposed king cannot survive. Or after knight takes f7, uh, king takes f7, rook takes e6, if queen c5, then just check and black is losing his queen. Uh, that's why black didn't accept the sacrifice, played queen c7 and lost the pawn on e6 as well, yeah. Black's position went down very quickly. The bishop retreats, b5, relying on the fact that the bishop is protecting the knight, trying to deflect the guard, but there comes queen takes d4. Tal is okay with b takes c4, then came the bishop with the tempo, queen b6 and only then Tal won black rook. Bishop e6, knight g5 intensifying the pressure, rook goes on d8 and another heavy blow by Tal, can you find his next move? Ready? There comes queen takes c5. Of course Tal could also calmly move away his queen, but he goes for queen takes e5. This is too much, you know, guys. This is too much. Uh, Black played queen takes c5, but after knight takes e6, queen b6, bishop c7 resigned. Let's cover some sidelines. For example, after queen takes c5, what if bishop takes c5, then just rook takes e6, then again white is winning. If rook c8 then takes, check, and then white is also managing to free the knight. White is two pawns and a piece up, this is an easy win. So we have queen takes c5, knight takes e6, queen b6, bishop c7. Now if for example queen b5 then we are winning the rook, and then knight d4 check, winning the queen. 
and what else for example queen takes b2 then again bishop takes d8 and then rook d1 attacking the bishop if bishop e7 then check and then rook b1 yeah it's over this is winning that's why after bishop c7 resignation followed so yeah it turns out that there are no safe squares for the queen enough is enough meduna finally resigned According to Tal, Meduna was so upset that he did not want to analyze the game after it ended. This was Tal's first victory in five months and his string of 18 draws was over. In the end, the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the black pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.